Hi everyone, this is going to be my unboxing and review of a new spot welder that I got, a mini spot welder. This is the BIFRC, which might be a little bit stronger than the last one I tried. <clears throat> this one says that it's nine gears and it can uh, actually spot weld a little thicker material too. So I wanted to show it to you. Here it is on Amazon, $59.99. Um, if you look back a little bit and just do search for for it, you'll see that it's actually offered a couple of different times. Here's one that's sponsored with 20 reviews. Um, here's four of the same. It looks to be the same one. It looks like you can get it down as low as $53 with that coupon. So uh, just look around a little bit and maybe you can get a better price on it. But this will be my review. All right. Let's swing around over here. There we go. The unit comes sealed up in a plastic box. Give me just a second. I'm going to pause. Okay, sorry about that. Anyway, it's shrink wrapped in plastic inside of this hard plastic case. So I think the first thing we have to do is take a knife and get into it. All right. Oh, first thing we have is some instructions. They had to appear to there are in English. Talk about the different lights. The unit itself inside of this protective bag. Well, it's a little smaller than the curpew that I checked the other day and ended up sending back. Well made though. Metal case, aluminum or something. On one end we've got our 5 volt USB charging. Uh, this one says input 5 volt 3 amp. So this is USB-C. And then uh, mode and power, I guess that's just a button. On the other end of it, I guess we'll put our receptacles in there. Oh, good golly. I think I see lights on the front of that thing. I can't tell if they're on or not. I might have just turned the sucker on. I certainly don't want to do that until I go in and read some instructions. And I know that I'll have to charge it up real good and make sure that it's got a full charge before I try it. So you've got a charging cable your electrodes. These seem to have a better tip on them than the other one, the Curpew. It's a flatter, bigger tip, so maybe it'll make better welds. Let's hope so. And then a little bit of nickel, 0.12. So the first thing I'm going to do before I move forward in this is I'm certainly going to read the instructions. I'm going to get this thing uh, topped off as far as the battery because I know they ship them down sometimes at half or two-thirds. So we'll get it charged up and we'll come back to this and be back shortly. All right. Now I've got my, uh, it's the next day. I let it charge up all night long and it came up and showed that I had four lights on there. So I'm assuming that it, uh, it does have a full charge. I'm going to reach in the back and I'm going to turn it on, which is a long press. let go and I want to look at the gear rating right now it's showing the second bar I might have hit it a little bit when I disconnected it the sear rating shows yeah I'm on two so I'm on the second gear if I go all the way up let's try a six gear so I'm gonna get past the three and to the next one so I'm just gonna hit this button Real short pulses, and it changes. There's the three, and there's the next one. So that should be a six gear, and there are nine gears available. So we'll try the six gear first for our first test. We will also try 
I have three different nickel strips to try. The one that came with it, which is a uh, 0.12. I have one that I bought, which is a 0.1. And then I also have some, one that I bought that's just a 0.15. So uh, we'll, we'll start off with this particular one right here that came with it. And we'll see how that one does. Now, let's get situated here where you guys can see what I'm doing. There you go. All right. So this is the one that came with it. I am going to try to hold it down. These are some bad. This is a battery that I took out of an old hard drive. And as you can see, I'm just going to use it to hold my nickel strip in place. Um, it, it, I'm sorry, it's not a battery. It's a, um, a magnet. And that magnet I just wrapped in black tape just so it's easier to get on and off. I can grab this little tab and pull the thing off because they are very, very strong magnets. All right, so here we go. We're going to try that. What did I say? That one is on um, six gear. And it will go up to nine, so it's over halfway. So we'll... We'll see how that does. I did have somebody make a comment. Hello. Losing my camera here. I did have somebody make a comment that I was not doing it appropriately, that I was pushing on it too hard, that it was user error, and blah, blah, blah. And I think they were just from the other company that I did a review on trying to save grace. These tips are bigger on the end of them. So they are going to produce a bigger weld in my opinion. I did not press hard. I'm doing it not at a not at straight down and pressing hard. I'm doing it kind of at an angled 45 degree and we'll do one last one. Very simple to do as you can see. Now let's test out, pull off my magnet there. Test out that weld. Seems pretty secure with the stuff that came with it. You can see why these are all my test ones. Now, I'm pulling pretty hard. And it's holding. I, I got a couple of them off. Let's see if it is it tearing the... Uh, nickel strip. I think it is. Oh, I'm pulling pretty hard. Try from the other side. All right, I can't do it. I'll cut myself. So look at the stuff that came with it. That stuff is awesome. It works great. Um, and that's on a that's on a number six out of nine. So, Kerpu, the people that I did the review on a couple days ago, telling me it's user error. How do you like that for user error? All right, let's go ahead and try. I'll set that aside. I probably have to curl that off and take it off with side cutters and just kind of peel it back. Let's try the thickest one that I have, which is 0.15. Set that across. Come on, magnet. Get it in the right spot. See, that magnet really helps to hold it in place. So I can get it down the center of those just to get it started. All right, we'll try the same one that I was on, the six gear. We'll see what happens. Not pressing hard. Oop, I'm off a little bit. I tell you what, it sure feels a lot better than that other one. I don't care how many times they write me and tell me it was years ago. They're trying to encourage me to increase my... Uh, I gave it a three stars out of five. And I produced a video and I, I wrote a comment on... Uh, Amazon, a review, and they're, of course they're trying to get me to change it. Alright, now that one pulled off a little easier. So, this is thicker though, so let's go ahead and turn it up. I think it would still 
work at that, but you saw how I you saw how I pulled it up. There's my small magnet. Get that thing in the middle. There we go. All right, now if I want to turn it up full blast, I'm going to hit that little button in the back, short bursts. And uh, I'm on six gear now, so I'm going to want to turn it until I have four green lights, nine gear. Oops, get down here where you can see it. Four green lights, nine gear, which is the highest. So I want four lights. <clears throat> All right, and you see I have four lights, so that should be the highest reading yet. All right, here we go. Now this last one, I'm going to go at a different angle, and I'm going to push hard. Oh, that one didn't seem to take very well. Let me do it again. There we go. Oh, well, those tips are hot. I just touched it on my wrist. So I can see if, after any uh, lengthy job, let's see if that's hot. No, it's not really hot. But that tip sure is hot. All right. So I've got at least, what, three or four good welds on there. Now I'm hoping... Can't, can't pull it this way. Can't pull it at all. Well, I pulled one up. Pulling straight away from it. I think I'm going to have to peel it back to get it to go, and then I'm going to break the, break the tin. Okay, there's a second one. And I'm pulling quite hard. Okay, yeah, you can see I definitely tore. You can see the points there. If it'll zoom in on it. You can see it. And it's definitely tearing the tin. So this is 0.15. It does work. Turn it up full blast. You can see it definitely holds good because I'm tearing the tin. And uh, that seemed to be the first weld that I had, which was kind of at a V, and uh, and it was light touch, so it wasn't that hard of a touch. So, uh, okay, well, let's see, what do we think about this thing? Get my batteries out of the way here. And let me get this thing turned off. I hold, long hold. Let go. There we go. Shut it off. Very easy, simple device. You can charge it with a USB or a USB-C. There's the button I've been hitting. On the front, you've got lights that indicate your charge of your battery. And then, of course the uh, the gear rating so you can see in my case it, it did really well with the stuff that came with it now I'll have to look and see if this is 99 percent pure nickel or if this is coated or exactly what this is but this one here stuck really really well so if I can get some more of that uh, that might be what I try to get to build my battery packs so um, anyway that's my review let me get the packaging and show you that one more time. Kind of a little, little plastic case. Not much to it. Owner's manual. And of course it did come with a charging cable as well. So that's my review of the BIFRC spot welder. And uh, if you're trying to decide between this one and that Curpew or any of the knockoffs that look like the Curpew, um, 
Okay, just sorry about that. I knocked my camera off and it shut off the video. Anyway, um, if you're trying to decide between the Curpu branded one or the knockoffs that look like that one, um, and uh, this particular one, I would go with this one. You can turn it up to nine gears. You can do more with it. Um, it seems to be holding a lot better, regardless of so-called user error, as they told me in the other one. Um, this one works so much better. So they're roughly about the same price, um, anywhere between $50 and $60. And uh, this is definitely the one I would go with. And this is uh, uh, going to be on my Amazon review as well. So uh, thank you for watching. I appreciate it. And good luck out there in your world. And uh, if you've got any constructive comments about my technique or the uh, material that I'm using, uh, the nickel strip, I sure would appreciate it. Thanks again. Enjoy your day. Bye now.